Good afternoon. Welcome to the Netherlands and Monikan Dam. This is Murat. We're gonna visit a beautiful Dutch fisher village, almost uh, famous as much as Volendam, but Volendam is much more a popular tourist attraction for the limited time travelers to the Netherlands. This side is Monikan Dam, and currently we are here. As you can see on the map, not far away from Volendam and also from Amsterdam. And Amsterdam is not far away, only a few bus stops away from there. You can see there on the picture on the screen from Amsterdam Central Station to Monikendam village, it takes 17 minutes by bus. There is no train connection to here, so the only option is coming by car, public transport bus or Bicycle. Bicycle is also possible. I think it will take like one hour or one and a half hour by bicycle. And the temperature is about 25 Celsius. Before continue more, I'm gonna check if everything is alright with the sound and the connection. Let me see. Let me see. Alright, it seems it's fine. Hello Pablo. Argentine JJ from New York City and 420 Amsterdam also from the States. So that's the big great church of Monikam Dam, the biggest church in the town. And we're gonna go through the bridge and we will turn left. There's a city gate, I think. An old monument is over there, and we will follow the street. Obviously, for most of the travelers visiting Amsterdam, they have visit limited time and they prefer to go to Wallendam or Zanseschans. They are more popular tourist attractions. Also, when they ask to their friends or to the people they know about where should I visit something uh, from Amsterdam, most of the people usually recommend Wallendam or Zanseschans. But here is Monikendam. It's also a beautiful, quiet village. Not as busy as Volendam, this is a peaceful, quiet place, but it's beautiful. You will see soon. And if you come by bus from Amsterdam Central Station, that direction, you will be getting off from there. There's a bus station over there, and you will walk to this bridge like me. As you see, the bridge is, the bridge is too hot because of the temperature. This is a flexible bridge. so. If there is a big boat or ship goes through this area, they open the bridge. So in this kind of hot weather, during the day, they use water in a way to dilation of the bridge. Otherwise, they can open the bridge and then later maybe they won't close the bridge because of the hot temperature. 25 is too hot for the Netherlands. Anyway, let's continue to our walk. It's going to be probably 40 minutes, 45 minutes walk. It's not a big village, but there are some nice things to see. This is the old city gate, I guess. I'm not sure, but it looks like that. The population on this village, actually it's a city, but I call this as a village. I also call Amsterdam as a village, in my opinion. It's a, it, has a, it has a village atmosphere, you know. Let's walk through the city gate actually it's for the vehicles but it's not busy at the moment also bicycles are coming through the connection speed is not at the best but i think we will not have any problem there is another way goes through this direction if you want to go to the city center or the uh, riverside lakeside you can use also this way this little way walking around the church but I will choose the left side because I want to show you the city center this is the great church it's from 17th century actually they start building this big church in the 15th century but it was completed in the 17th century you know such a big church and it takes time and money 
in 200 years they could collect uh, enough money and work for us, I guess. This is one of the two oldest buildings in the town, in the village, as I remember. Let me show you a bit better way. A lot of cyclists around. Oh, someone is knowing old mayor of Monikendam. How nice. Leo Hartman and Arya, good afternoon. Merhaba. Miriam, hello. Welcome from Canada to beautiful Monikendam village. Monikendam village. Mark Clement, hello. Demirci is here also. Hello. Hello, everybody. Let's uh, get into the steam more. This area is more quiet than the centrum. Centrum is also quiet. And I'm not sure if there's a local market today. Even if there's a local market, it's, it will be a small one. The reason of the name Monikendam, according to two, two options. One of the options, the most popular option is uh, assumption. The most popular assumption is there is a big monastery in the 14th and 13th century around this area and probably that monks gave the name Monikan Dam. So there was a dam in the village and because of the monks it started called like Monikan Dam. Monks Dam. Something like that. Monks Dam. Think about Dam Square. <laughs> this is for the Second World Victims. You know every town, city or village we visit we always see these monuments, Second World War remembers monuments so you can understand how many people uh, were the victims of the Nazis in the Second World War from the Netherlands. Another one is here. This, this side of the church is interesting because it's so leaning. This is probably the most leaning uh, building I have ever seen in the Netherlands. Look at that. How straight is that? Look at that. It's currently a museum, I think, entrance of the museum. What is that? Book and market. Oh, there's a book marked inside, it says, in the church. Probably there are more than 1,000 national monuments in the village, I guess. Because wherever I look, I see national monuments. They are all old buildings. For example, these are looking pretty old. Waterlands House. I forgot to mention that we are in Waterland municipality until 1991. It was a it was an independent town and village, but since 1991, it's part of Waterland municipality. However, we are still in North Holland province, so the same province with Amsterdam and Harlem. If I remember correct, Harlem city is the capital of North Holland province. Look how beautiful this house is. I understand that everyone goes to Follendam. It's more crowded and there's a big local market and there are more tourist attractions. Also, there are ferry tour something. But this is more quiet, more local. It's not that much touristy. However, it's not far away. Only two bus stops more, you will be in Follendam. Not much differences. Only difference is it's more quiet here, more local. There are less cafe bars, but in the water side there are a lot of good restaurants with terraces. We will see that also in 20 minutes, I guess. And this is the main street. What is that? Church Street, the Kerkstraat. We will follow that way, but I want to show you that bridge from quickly from here. Herenkracht. This one is Herenkracht of uh, Monikendam. You know Herenkracht in Amsterdam, this is the, one of the biggest canal in Amsterdam Canal Belt. But here is the Herenkracht like this, much smaller version. It's like a Smurfs village. 
the name of the bridge is in the old letters, Lundbeinbrug. This is our first live stream from Monikendam. I have been here many times and I recorded some videos, but it, they were pre-recorded videos. First time we are here on live. If you want to see less people and if you want to go to Centrum, you can follow this way as well. It's a beautiful bridge, old style. By the way, this live stream is on Facebook, Twitch and YouTube at the same time. So I'm following your chat conversations from my other smartphone. That means I cannot follow every minute. I just check sometimes. But uh, as usual, I will read all tomorrow. The bus ticket price from Amsterdam Central to here, it's about 4 euro. I have a subscription, so I, I don't know the exact price, but it's around 3 or 4 euro one-way ticket to Monikendam, to Follendam as well. The same bus also continued to Follendam and Edam. So if you take the bus from the back side of the central station, uh, you can arrive here and then you can, from the same bus stop, you can take the same bus to Follendam later. I think there is a kind of celebration here. There are some flags on the buildings and one of them is Monikendam's flag. I think that white and green one is the flag of Monikendam. Wow, it's huge. Hello. Wow. Look at that. This one is on sale. On sale, this house, Church Street. You can check it from funda.nl if you want to see the price. This building is from 1620, it seems. Closer, look like, yes. It seems it's 1620. In distance, you see the tower over there. It's, it's the oldest building uh, structure in this Monikendam left. It's Spell Tower, Spell Toren in Dutch. So it's from 14th century, I think. There were two big fires in the 15th century, in the beginning of the 15th century and end of the 14th century. Uh, no, and at the at the end of uh, 14th century, 15th century, and in the beginning of 16th century, yes, now it's correct. There were two big fires, and almost every building was burnt except the spell tower and the church over there. But the church was renovated many times. This one is older spell tower, and one of the most beautiful caridions in the Netherlands. It's located in, in the tower, as I read. Ah, look at that, old letters. What is that? Oh, it's a clothing. Oh, it's a old clothes shop. Nice. All the accessories for the old costumes. Let me show it closer. Costume parades. 16th century, 20th century, 21st century. And here, one of them, traditional Dutch villager club. There is a summer market in Manukandam in 7 July during the day. There will be a summer market.
Angelo Adrian, welcome. The flags are for Pride Month, yes. Sensible, I think. Anaria is correct, I think. Andreas Miller, welcome. Hello, Tiago. And from Facebook, one of our watchers from Facebook, Will Turner. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day as well. Olga, hello, welcome. And Stan Bade Hudemidach from Canada. Thank you. Oh, here is the spell tauren. Spell. Spell means play. Play tower. So this one. And look at that figure. About the spell. Play. This is currently part of the museum, so you can visit the tower, I guess. Also, you can join the Carillion playing sessions in some days and specific times. But I think you need to get a ticket. Museum ticket, I mean. Yes, there is a little local market over there. I'm going to check that before they close. But let's take a look to Spaltorum first from here. Another beautiful plate over there with Netherlands lions and a monk. As you see, there is a monk on the plate. So that's where the name Monikendam is coming from, monks. Normally this side is a touristic centrum. So there is a Wach, the Wach building, and there is another national monument, beautiful bars over there, just at the corner. But I will come back. I'll come back. Let's check first the local market. Probably they will close soon. That's the entrance of Spatora. Okay. Another church is over there. Oh, this building is looking nice. Let me show you. Also, there's another monk is standing on the top of the building. Look at that. When you visit next time the Netherlands and Amsterdam especially, try to visit here instead of Volendam. If you already uh, saw Volendam, if you have been there already, it's a great place to be there, to be in. I mean, it's only 17 minutes from uh, Amsterdam Central Station. Volendam is 22 minutes away from Amsterdam Central Station. And both of them, they do not have train connection, so you have to use the same bus actually. In the same day, you can visit both. You can visit Monikendam, Edam and Folundam in the same day with the same bus. Just hop on up off. This way goes to the terraces, bar terraces and canal area. Very small local market. The left side only fruit, fish stall I think and some bakery things. Another monk. Don't forget thumbs up, by the way. What's that? There's a Khuzum Palace sponsored. It's sponsored by someone, some, some organization. There's a castle. In the history, there was a castle in the village also. It's a tapas place. Fish stall. Already closing. I will I will try hiring fish, but they are already closing, and I do not see any hiring there. It's a not noten at the end of the market, and there are also beautiful houses both sides and also left side in distance also, but. Uh, 
Now I will go back to the centrum. I want to show you some other things. Also, I want to show you the harbor and marina. Look at the windows. There's a call. The license of the building, the nameplate of the building. It's from 1611. As I said, because of the two big fires, almost every building were de destroyed by the fire. They were burned. So there are a few, a few, a few buildings only, like church or tower and something like that. All other buildings are from 16th or 17th century. It's a bicycle store, left side. You see, it's only three o'clock almost. So after 2.30 in this small towns, they are closing the local market. They open, I think, at around 10 o'clock. Wow, what a beautiful guy. And it's, it's private. It's so beautiful in the center. In Amsterdam, for example, Albert Kuyp Market, the biggest local market in Amsterdam, or Dapper Market, they are open usually until 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock sometimes. But in these small towns, they know which time they have to close. After some time, they don't expect any other customers. Some nice bars, cafe from 1614. This is the walk of the village. It's how it's written in the old language. The work is like this. It's the tax calculation building, government building in the past. Like most of the, the works in the Netherlands, this one is also used as a restaurant bar. And this side, there are also some other bars. I think it's closed now. Open. Oh, look at that, traditional costumes. Well, my left side is beautiful, but the right side also, I will show you. No bicycle here. You cannot park your bicycles on the bridge, otherwise they will take away to the municipality parking. Another monument is over there, look at that. It's a beautiful day to have a beautiful day in Monikanda. Time to see the left side and the walk building. Oh, this side is also nice. We got the roof. And the terrace is beautiful in the shade, not under the hot sun. You know, in the Netherlands, summer is 10 days, about 10 days. But still, you need some shady areas. It's a beautiful sitting area on the bridge. At the end of the tour, we can have a beer here. The Wach. But first, we will see the marina side. We will walk through that bridge in distance. There is also a beach that you can enjoy the sea and a summer club over there. It's a small one, not like Zandvoort or Scheveningen. But there is one, like 10 or 15 minutes from here, in Monikendam territory. We have been there before by bicycle. We went there. This is a monk sculpture. Uh, I knew his name, but I forgot it, sorry. The monk. The name of the artist is here, it's written, but uh, it's hard to read it. Ah, uh, maybe you can read it, I don't know. 
Anyway, it is a nice monk sculpture where Monikan Dam got its name. So around this area, probably, there was a dam and a monastery. That's why we call it Monikan Dam. Let's walk through this way first, then we will come back here. And as I said, it's like, it's gonna be like 40, 45 minutes tour, already 25 minutes. Today I, I will be strict. I'll be strict about timing. I will not make it longer, I promise. I know you like longer videos. Oh, such a spot, okay. Now I know where I will get my beer tree. I will make it shorter because I wanna uh, get my drink under the sun peacefully over there, next, by, next to the canal. It's great. Looking forward. So it's a hot, beautiful day. By the way, for YouTube members who joined to the channel membership by clicking the join button and also Patreon supporters, I recorded some personal footage, some uh, special footages before coming here. I will share it today in the evening or tomorrow lately for members on the video. And also after here, I will go back to Amsterdam and I will make some video vlog footages. That's why I will make this video shorter. I need some time. And tomorrow I will be in a beach with my friends. This is the only live video. This is the only live video this week from Monica now. There are hundreds of small alleys like this. I can't show you all, but uh, when you visit Monica Dam, try to get in the alleys. You will find many interesting things. Old things, some special shops, boutiques, something. This is the Marina side. Look how, how beautiful spot is this in front of your house. It's a fisher village. We will see, I think, another statue sculpture over there about the fishing business in this village. The other side is popular restaurant, summer restaurant and terraces. In the summer they are so good. They have some good drinks and Dutch food also. Snacks, Dutch food snacks. This is a great day to be there in that restaurant because not too hot, only 25 Celsius. Tomorrow is warmer, like 30. Look at that box. I like the name of this boat, slightly suspect. Oh, there is a woman lying on the boat, I didn't see that. <laughs> well, it's a great boat. Maybe I will make this thumbnail. Before continue, let me check the live chat. What we are guys up to? Okay. Oh, I forgot that. I promised to give ten YouTube memberships on this video. Why didn't you remind me? Okay, now I will do that. For the people who are here, it's time to. Give away. I will give 10 YouTube memberships on my channel, YouTube channel membership. So you can get benefit as a member to use special emojis and you will get early notification about my live streams, locations and time. And you can watch my members only videos on this channel. Also, uh, many times a week I share uh, members only photos. Give me a sec. The thing is YouTube will choose randomly, so I will buy 10 YouTube channel memberships, but YouTube give it randomly to the people on the live chat at the moment. So get ready for that. It's coming. 
Right, where is that? Membership gifting. Ten memberships. It's time to give away. Agree. One tap by. It's coming. In a few seconds. Successful payments. Right. Now is the time. Okay, let me see who got the membership. Demir G second time, Leo second time, I guess. Colin is also a member now. From now on, you have one month membership. Oh my God, Sonar as well. <laughs> XX Sonar. Sonar, you got it again. What, what a Scrooge man Sonar. Sonar always get the free things. <laughs> What else, Margaret? Luciana, I'm happy about Luciana. Mello family. Luciana is the wife of Paula Mello, so now she's also a member. Great toilet brush salesman and Joe Donahue. <laughs> That's great. I think you YouTube choice was good. Congratulations, everyone. Hope you enjoy one month membership until next month. So you can use special emojis, my face, Sonar face and some other emojis on this live chat from now on. And also there will be a special badge on, on your, uh, next to your name. And also you can watch my members only videos, previous ones also. So check the YouTube channel homepage and you will see a members only playlist and click some of the videos so you can watch them now. Let's continue to the restaurant side. Langebrück. This is called the Long Bridge. It's quite long. Considering the time it, it was built, probably centuries ago, there are some traditional uh, boats. I forgot to show you the fisherman sculpture. Give me a sec. Here it is. It's another beautiful sculpture in Monokundam showing the business, fish business, fisherman business. I think they are uh, eel fish. How to call it? In, in the Netherlands it's called eel, eel fish. I mean, something like snake. It's uh, the rocker Cernus, something. <laughs> All right. By the way, let me show you the aerial uh, photo of Monikundam so you can understand much better where we are now. This is Monikundam from the air. Also, the Marken Island is not far away. You know, from Follendam, you can visit Marken Island by ferry. I think there must be also from here. A ferry, I mean. And there is a... Where is that? Beginning. I think there is a hotel room here, next to the area. Let me see. Alright. I think this is like a hotel room that you can sleep here. Take some bar. Look at that, the Awe Blaue, the old blue, I think, Brookstadt Bridge Street, so you can sit by here. Currently it's empty because it's too hot to, to sit there. This street goes to the local market again, and as you see, there's a beautiful area here. Nice benches and sun chairs. Give me a sec. I need to...
All right, I'm back. I think my, my sister called me, so I had to reply, but I think she called mistakenly. I couldn't hear anything. Anyway, the sun chairs are nice here. Beautiful spot. I think it's better to come here in the evening or in the afternoon after a little less sunshine. It seems you can park your bicycles here. And there's a toilet and ice ice cream shop. Yeah. Ice coffee also. I think this kind of boats are popular here. The wooden design. They have heaters here if you come here in the cold weather. You can still sit by the terrace. There's a and also they serve lacquer bag and kibbling fish at the terrace. They have chairs, look at that. There's a living room here. <laughs> you can sit as if it's it's your home. Nice corner. Mother boat. Maybe they are rental, I don't know. Those are the restaurant site. The good thing is in Fallen Dam, at this time, probably all the outside sitting areas are, will be full. But here, here the best spots are still empty, so you can easily find a sitting place in the best with the best view. It's similar to my town, Wasp. In, the, in WASP also, there are always empty chairs, tables, uh, benches. But in Fallen Dam, Amsterdam, sometimes it's tricky if there's a really nice weather. Because of the tourist uh, population also, it's always full. Right. Another checkpoint. Yes, Leo already started using my face as an emoji. Thank you. <laughs> uh, some hello, by the way. Sonar to Sonar is a uh, Scrooge man. Sonar is a wise man, spent his money wisely, so he never gets membership with money. <laughs> Just joking, of course. Okay, they, these tables are... They say they are reserved. These tables are reserved, it seems. But, uh, let's try it. It's a again. I'll ask. Hello. Hi. Can I sit there for a beer? Only uh, time. Only is. here. It's now. Only here. Okay. Yeah. I'll sit there. Yeah? Yeah. After the blonde, please. After the Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They don't allow us to sit by the canal. It's reserved. I think the reason probably they don't want to run over the canal and they don't want to check every time. So this side is easier to serve. And, uh, let me show you the menu. This is the wah with the old leathers. Uh, welcome from our heart, Brasserie de Wah. So I will show you some things. Some coffee, coffee is three euro. Coffee is three euro. Cappuccino three fifty. And like uh, 
The still water 3 euro and 10 cents. Chocomel 3 euro 10 cents. African blonde is 4 euro and 80 cents. Heineken, ordinary Heineken. The small one is 3 euro and 30 cents. Medium one, 4 euro and 80 cents. Still cheaper than Amsterdam, by the way. Heineken point. Oh. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I'll pay later or no? But Whatever you want. How much? Uh, for eight, right? Yeah. I'll get a bill for you. Oh, okay. Okay, he will get the bill. Anyway, for example, Heineken Pint is six euro and fifty cents. At place I play in Amsterdam, it starts from seven euro. So this is a bit cheaper. Uh, they were tap beers. Okay. Four euros, uh, maybe. Yeah. One more. One more? Yeah. Do you want to pay this one as well right now? Uh, so, uh, no, one euro more. Is that for you? Oh, <laughs> like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go. Because I don't have time, so I will drink and go. Yeah, yeah. I get right. it. Thank you. Thanks so much, you too. So it's four euro eighty cents and one euro uh, tip. Uh, if you come here, I mean, if you are around Amsterdam, don't give one euro tip. One euro is too much. Usually, Dutch people give like twenty cents, forty cents, something like that, and they give the tip at the end after they drink everything. But I always give much more if I'm happy about serves. Oh, Miriam, thanks for the feedback. Okay, let me turn a bit. Okay, I just saw that. Murat, I really appreciate these videos, tours, and I have a list of towns. Thank you. <laughs> Glad to hear that, Miriam. And you will be here soon. Actually, this is not original Afflechem Blond glass, but that's fine. No problem. Cheers. Oh, good. It's uh, the glass of another beer. It's their glass, the Wach. Okay, so they serve all beer in the same glass, probably. And this has this is blonde beer, Abdai beer, and 300 milliliter and 6.7 alcohol percentage. Anyway, let me show you a menu a little bit more. Then we will see. Okay, let me put this here. Okay. What else? They have their local beers, by the way. Oce Triple. Around 5 year old. Bab Weizen beer. Okay, next time I will try these local beers. Another time. Lashuf beer is 5 euro 50 cents. It's a good one. Amstel Radler for 50. This is only for drinks, I think. Oh, hey, here they are. Lunch. Options club sandwich is 15 euro with uh, meat, egg salad, and chicken little jam. They say, I don't know what is that. Or, for example, salad with warm cheese, 15 euro. Uh, Netherlands onion soup is 9.50. And uh, fish, there are some fish options because it's a fisher town. But classic burger is 17 euro and 50 cents. Croquette, one of the cheapest ones is croquette. Two croquette is 10 euro and 50 cents. Herbal mustard, uh, table salt, I think, too red onion and petersilie, what was petersilie? I think it's the same. Anyway, that's the menu, briefly. A 
Let me see. Uh, okay. But one thing you know about the Netherlands, the tipping is not mandatory here. If you don't want to pay a tip, you are free to go. So they don't add into, do, into your invoice to recipe in advance. Only if you are happy about the service, if you want, you can give the tip. But not like States or Canada, you don't have to give tip for every place. It depends on you. Okay. All right. I think we are fine now. I stop the video now. I will share members only uh, in three hours, hopefully, or lately in the evening. So you can see how I got here from Amsterdam Central Station. And also, I will try to make a vlog in Amsterdam today. See you. Have a nice weekend. It's a brief small town tour. Wow, 46 minutes. First time I'm stopping the video in the planet time. Not too late. Enjoy your new memberships. Check members only videos which you couldn't watch before. You're welcome. Bye-bye.